Hi, I'm Adam Wakelin and what I'd like to talk to you about today is my winter commercial roach fishing tips. What I'd like to start with is, is the top kit and how we, what sort of kit we use for this. So it's the top three. I've got number fives pressed in elastic all the way through the sections. At the top end with the rig end, I've got a Dacron connector. Going down the top section, I've got a puller bung. How I elasticate this for, for commercial roach fishing is when I elasticate the top kit with the number five's elastic, I get it so it's just tensioned right. Then what I do is I pull back a foot of elastic, bite it off and cut it. And that's the, this that's the elastic tension. It's what I call pingy fives. So when you pull it like that, it pings back in. My second tip for today is my favourite winter roach float which is a PB Silver 6. The reason why I like this float is because it has a nice high, visi high visibility antenna so I can dot it down, I can have a bit of bristle showing, I can do absolutely anything I want with it. Because when we're fishing for roach on commercials we usually like to catch them on the drop so it's got a lovely carbon stem which allows me to be in control of the float so I can hold it back and let the bait fall as much, as fast or as little as I'd like. The two main baits that I like to fish with when I'm catching roach on the drop on commercials are maggots and casters. These are two baits that roach really like and depending on normally what sort of weight I'm fishing for, depending on which one, I'm, which one I fish with. If I'm fishing for littler fish and perhaps a smaller weight is I'll always opt for the maggots usually reds and whites, they're my favourite. If I'm fishing for a bigger weight, then what I'll always opt for 100% is the caster. My main tip regarding bait is you must use good quality bait because roach don't like horrible rancid casters. When I'm targeting commercial roach, I always like to have a number of swims. I always like to feed my furthest swim, which I like to fish shallow with a catapult. But what this also allows me to do is my other two main lines, which I call my main lines, I can feed by hand, which I throw my bait out my hand down the margins so I can feed that all the time while ever I'm fishing out there. And also every time I'm shipping in, say if I've caught a rope shallow, every time I ship back in, I'll always underarm some casters or maggots short, which could be five or six meters. And then as I'm halfway shipping out, I'll always throw some down the margins as well. Because we're always trying to put together big quantities of roach on a commercial to build these weights up and because we're swinging a lot of fish, a real good tip is to always have your keep net centralised. So when you are swinging the fish, on the odd occasion if, you, if one does swing off, obviously fingers crossed it will fall in the net, but not also that, obviously also you've chested him, you've unhooked him, it's straight there, it's not left, it's not right, it's straight down. What else we need to talk about is really important and that's shotting of rigs. Obviously, like I mentioned earlier, we're catching fish throughout the water. So 9 out of 10 is they are spreaded shot. But there's a difference between how far apart they are. So take my shallow rig for example. Say if that's fishing 2 foot deep, I've got them spread out every 3 to 4 inches. Which shots, for shallow fishing, I prefer number 11s. For fishing what I call short on the deck, in say probably five or six foot, then I still favour for a, a quite light float, because obviously like we said we're catching on the drop, but what I'll do depending on the size of the float will depend on what shot, so something like a 4 by 12s I'll use probably six or seven number 11s, something like a 4 by 14s I'll use six to eight number 10s, just obviously depends on your float, but what I like to do when I'm fishing on the deck is I like to have the majority spread quite evenly two thirds of the way up the rig and then getting down towards the bottom, the business end I always have them a little bit further apart just so you get that quite quick fall for your mid rig but your bottom end is even more slower and finally for my margin rig for the shotting it's quite simple 
I'm not normally always use a heavy a heavier float than I would shallow so it's normally a 4 by 12 and what I do there I just simply have a spread bulk which are normally bulks of 11s spread at an inch apart and my first one is always probably 8 to 10 inches away from me up so what I can do when I come into the margins I can drag it in and I can feel the actual shot guiding in because obviously sometimes you're fishing up against reed beds snags trees where you're trying to catch those those bigger fish follow those few simple tips and you'll be able to catch winning nets of ropes like this